Welcome back, everyone. We are so happy to welcome our friends Darren Rohr and uh, Sarah Watson with details on this year's upcoming Festival of Trees at the Shrine Mosque. That's happening next month, but give us some more right. details. We wanted to make sure to give everybody time to go ahead and get that on their calendar for this mm -hmm. year. So um, this year's Festival of Trees is November 17th, 18th, and 19th. So that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, right there at the Shrine Mosque, we do have that big, beautiful building to host mm -hmm. this wonderful event. Well, if somebody has been living under a rock and doesn't know about Festival of Trees, tell them what it is and how you raise money and what will be there and how they can get involved. Absolutely. So um, <clears throat> what the primary function of this event is that we have fully decorated and gifted trees that um, people raffle or that we raffle for everyone. Mm -hmm. So the raffle tickets are a dollar and you buy as many as you want and then you have the chance to win these beautiful trees that are, are gifted as well. So and they're fully decorated. They yeah. are fully decorated. So that takes out putting up literally the decorations of the tree, the you know, the the decorating of the tree as well. So okay, this is a great this is a great way to save some time. Yes. Maybe some money. Too. Yes. A dollar so, for raffle tickets? A dollar for tickets? raffle tickets. So there is um, a $5 admission, but we also have entertainment going throughout the whole entire weekend. Um, various groups from dance groups from around town. Um, and what am I missing? What, do you, what are we missing, what am I missing? Devan? We'll have, we'll have dance groups. We'll have multiple vendors scattered throughout the, the trees that will give you a chance to do a bit of Christmas shopping while you're there. Mm -hmm. So kind of get that out of the way. So. Um, but like I said, it is, it's a $5 admission. It's only a dollar a ticket to get in. We're still short a few trees, so if anybody's business out there needs an advertising platform, come on out and Okay, speaking of trees, uh, we, I have in our notes here, uh, you have a new tree from 1984, yes. which I want to hear about, and then returning trees from a hip joint, Starbucks, and Vietti Marketing. Can you give us any hints on those? I don't know. A lot of people keep it kind of secret because that's the other fun thing is they kind of have a competition of like yeah. who gets the most raffle tickets and gets the most votes because um, so businesses you'll see them kind of getting a little bit of a competition. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's kind of it fun. is. I want that 1984 tree. How fun would I, that be? Right. Well, you were telling us just before we went on air there was a tree that oh, you were loving. I it was a classical Christmas. So I'm Fancy. curious because I'm new-ish to the area. Is every tree decorated with a certain theme? Is every year a different theme? Or is it just decorated the, the way, way people want. want to decorate it? It's, it's, mm -hmm. Nope, you do. Okay, <laughs> so um, it, it's the choice is yours on the theme. Um, okay. So we don't set a theme out there for you. So um, a, a building contractor, he might not actually use a, a tree. He might use a ladder and decorate it, put a couple tools under it, and ah. that would be what he would consider his tree. His tree. So, oh, that's awesome. so it, there's just, it covers a gamut of different, just a wide variety. Mm -hmm. um, also, do you have a story about macaroons? I do, because uh, Bundles of Joy Bakery is going to be one of our vendors at the event. And I was laughing the other night because I went to a birthday party that she um, had provided the, the desserts for. And she had gluten-free macaroons, gluten-free cake pops, and um, these uh, cupcakes that were lovely, but um, <laughs> I, I had to go gluten free, and so I was super excited to see these. But my other half, Richard, ate all the macaroons. He came <laughs> up and he's like, "You have to try these. I don't know what they are, but they're amazing." <laughs> and so um, Bundles of Joy does a great job, so we're excited to have them back at this year's event. Um, we also have Jordan Essential, Essentials. Um, I think Pink Zebra. We have several vendors that will be scattered throughout. There's usually clothing boutiques and. So you okay. can shop and you can eat and you can raffle and you're raising money for the Shrine Mosque? Yes. To help all the kids, which is amazing. Yes, yes. So, you know, we um, have that building, which I know you guys talked about yesterday on your show, that's 100 years old. So mm -hmm. um, our local Shriners like to do fun things for kids in that building. And we have like a Christmas party. And mm -hmm. then we also um, provide transportation to the kids mm -hmm. when they need to go um, have services at, at our hospitals. Which is so great. I love it. Are people able to donate gifts or anything during this event? I'm just curious. We have not ever done um, okay. a gift drive or okay. a donation drive like that. Okay. Okay. But the good thing is to come and show up and get the raffle tickets so you can hopefully win the tree. Yes. Which would be amazing because they are really decorated impeccably. We've had so many examples over the years of the amazing trees, and it's like, wow, if you can actually get one, that would be amazing. And all the money, of course, is going to a great cause. So, so give us the dates one more time. Um, 
dates are November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Um, and I will go ahead and throw out that we did get Santa on the schedule. So oh, um, we'll have a schedule posted on our Facebook page so that way you, you know exactly when he's going to be there. Mm. But always lots of fun. Mm. Okay, can you guys send us pictures of the trees once you start getting them in? Because we want to see what they look like. Well, they actually set up the two days right. before. Two days before, two okay. Days before. okay. We'll be expecting it then. Okay. Okay. That's going to be great. Thank you so much. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. It's time for a rave review coming up right after this. Yes, I got to get enough raffle tickets. Maybe put off.